heat advisory for all of Glades, Hendry, and Collier County from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. this evening as we once again expect those heat index values to get up around 110 degrees. And all of us today, take a little precaution outside, drink plenty of water, find some shade, and just if you can, then that peak heat this afternoon, stay indoors in the AC. This is what our actual air temperatures are going to look like here this afternoon, but you factor in the humidity, and that's when uh, we uh, start to get in trouble in the afternoon hours. 105 to 110 and some sections there inland before the showers and thunderstorms come through to cool us off. And this morning, we've got a couple of showers south of Marco Island and a few more moving northbound. They're dying out between Boca, West Palm, and Jupiter. But later on today, we are going to see that wind once again out of the southeast, and that's going to provide us with plenty of sunshine and dry conditions early. But later on, uh, we are going to see showers and thunderstorms develop over the Everglades and get a push in our direction. So another stormy late afternoon and evening here around town. It'll dissipate after sunset, and we're going to keep our rain chances high here over the weekend. Now, yesterday we picked up uh, nothing at Pagefield, but almost a half inch in Naples. So for uh, the second straight day, the surplus in Naples went up to four inches since July. The deficit in Fort Myers grew to 1.29, but not real worried about that deficit. One good thunderstorm here over the weekend or early next week, and we're right back to even. Our temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s, and that's pretty close to where we were at this point yesterday. Just a degree or two cooler there around the lake, but our dew point values stay high, and our rain chances as we go through the weekend and early next week go up. We are looking at an 80% chance there Monday and Tuesday as uh, we got a little disturbance and more moisture beginning to build in. Let's check your weekend out. We'll start off nice and sunny here through lunchtime on Saturday before those showers and thunderstorms develop once again inland and they get a push towards our coastline. Let's skip ahead this uh, Sunday morning where we're also waking up with sunshine, but the wind's a little more out of the east and it's a little more brisk and that's going to put thunderstorms right along the I-75 corridor. So a uh, very stormy in there to the weekend on Sunday and those rain chances go up there over the weekend. Quick check of tropics. I love it when it's quiet like this. No development expected here over the next seven days and most of the reason a lot of Saharan dust keeping things quiet here in the middle and late parts of July. Seven day forecast shows those rain chances keeping our temperatures down a little bit Monday and Tuesday as we are expecting a little more cloud cover and even through Wednesday and Thursday there next week we're looking at a 60 to 70 percent chance of rain.